Hi everyone, welcome to Padap TV. So we're learning how to make um, hem slippers today. So I've drafted half the pattern. Now I'm drawing our insole. So I started with the fiber first, then the marco. So I gummed the two, I spread the gum, then I attached the both to each other. After doing that, I allowed it to dry for some time and now I am cutting it. After cutting it, I'll make sure I use my cutter to also trim the edges so that <clears throat> when I am filing, it will not be so difficult for me and I will not spend so much time at the filing machine. So in putting them together, you need to use your gum. After that, I like to dry for some time before filing. Now, I am trying to cover cover the insole and this is how you cover your insole. You make the leather slightly bigger than the insole spread your gum allow it to dry for some time before gumming it that's how you get your insole but before that i had already cut my sole and my heel now i'm trying to apply gum now this is sole and the heel i'm trying to apply gum to the to the leather and after that you still spread your gum on the fiber so that it will stick when trying to gum it together now this is an idea of it and i had already filed the nora that's um the sole and i had already filed the heel now we are done covering up the insole and this the um that's the final outlook you file the edges so that it will be able to come permanently now i am trying to get my heel properly i applied gum spread gum on the heel and I have attached it please you allow it to dry please allow it to dry and after that you make sure you hammer it properly make sure you hammer it properly now after that you apply your gum on your welt and on the sole and not forgetting that uh, the sole for a welted work is always bigger than the insole because you will give space for the welt like you are seeing here now i am trying to attach everything together after covering the insole i'm trying to apply um, fix the welt now you trim the edges make it look very neat before you start now when you are starting make sure you start at the beginning of your heel so that the joining will not be obvious because the end of our feet is always at that point, the journey will not be obvious. Now, this is it. When you are done, you trim the edges. I like using cutter because I think I, I enjoy using it. So I use my cutter to trim the edges. After that, you remove your insole and hammer it properly so it's not pull. This is the pattern I am trying to file the the lining and the face of it together and i am also trying to file the welted part as well now i finished i applied my dye i marked the point where i am supposed to put my pattern and that is it i applied gum let it dry for some time and i've been able to last it after lasting it the next thing you do is you are, we are already halfway gone gone you are applying your gum on um on your insole and on your welt as well after doing that allow it to dry as well then you place it after placing it make sure it sticks properly with your hand adjust it with your hand first before you will start to hammer it now this is it this is the final outlook thank you guys for watching thank you for your time please don't forget to subscribe and i'll be expecting to see you in my next class bye